He is amazingly reactive. I run marathons. I bought a working line dog on purpose. It wasn't a mistake. I'd love to make this like a, a search and rescue dog. Or... And I can't leave my house with him. Your world is about to change. Sit. Free. Hey, so Philip has uh, got a good relationship with his dog. He works uh, heavily with his dog multiple times a day. Uh, does boy. tracking work with good his dog. Boy. Hey. Um, hey. So on and so forth. So you see like, again, like an intact male just brings a different vibe, brings a different energy. They take names and kick ass in their own head. As a trainer, there's parts of me that's like, I get it. You were set up in every way possible to be like this. So we have to make sure that Philip has good handling skills to bring this dog out for a walk because up until right now, he's never been around He's never seen this many people. He's yeah. never had this many smells. He's never yes. had a group training. So let's just keep it light and easy. So heel towards me and then back. But he's gonna try to push boundaries and that's what those little like, Hey, there, yeah. Nope. That's nope. what those little reactions yes. are. Yes. They're very easy for most people probably in the room to say, okay, it's about boom. Like we could do it like clockwork. There, so wait, <laughs> there, yeah. So. <laughs> You have to be on that. <laughs> when you need to though. Yeah, yeah. Not right there. Not right there. Yes. Give him a break, we're gonna do it again. Freak. So when I say there, hey. that means I want you to use your ah uh ah -uh or your verbal, then enforce it. Slow down. There. So <laughs> no. Philip. Hey. hey. Back the other way. Let's go. Alright, here we're gonna walk you through this again. So way too late. It's okay. When I say there, I know. That's the time. That's the time. Because I can see him and I go, this is about to happen. Okay, there. Atlas. Hey. Better. Go ahead. Hang out. There. Now you can. Hey. Yes. Better. Again. Hey. Hey. But hey. He's, about, he's about to react right now. So hey. Stop for one second. Okay. Heel towards me. Towards me. Slow down and stop. Good. Hold. Now do your disengagement of like leave it or whatever. Oh, yeah. Good okay. boy. Okay. Good. I'll take, I'll take it. So it's hard because I'm thinking, the dog's thinking, the owner's thinking, and I'm trying to, it's all, it's hard, right? But this is why it's important to work the dog owner through it. Because I could do it probably faster, but that's not as helpful. What I want to do, this is going to be difficult for me because I have to do t three things at once. I want to do a recall with him and I want to see if his reactivity changes from him being away from you. So give him a break. Don't put it behind your back, put it next to you. Okay, draw back recall, no, pay him. Good. That's good. I find with a dog like this that he's so interested in working and doing something and just getting that kind of like out. Um, we're gonna give him an alternative to do that and not on me or any other dog. We're gonna try to put it on you. So. If you come to me, you're gonna get your favorite, which is plain tug. Good, recall, recall. Don't pay him, don't pay him, don't pay him. We're only gonna pay him if he makes that good decision. My objective here is to have him understand what we're trying to do here. And what we're trying to do here is recall him without the reactivity. Walk forward, draw back and pay him with the ball. Atlas, yes. Good, play with him. That's the reward. Oh, the ball isn't the reward. Oh, the tug, yeah, the, the tug interaction. is the reward. Yeah. Drop the ball for a second. You, good. See? That's all he cares about. Yeah. Make that fun, 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 fun. Yes, good. And when he drops it like that, pull it away from him, make him chase it. You want him obsessed with that thing, okay? He's a working line, intact German Shepherd. He's not gonna wanna crawl in people's laps, he doesn't know. So you have to give him something else to do. And I know that you know that. I'm just saying, when you just sit there with a the ball, like you gotta make it, he's got, he's like, okay, I'm done with this. This is dead. I'm on to the, I'm gonna bark at me. I'm gonna bark at the dog. I'm gonna, you gotta make sure that you're playing games with him. Okay. Go ahead and out him. Atlas, out. Good, heel position Good. towards me. Heel. Good, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Draw back and pay. Come. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, don't, so Philip, when you're doing this, don't have a habit of ever putting it in his face. Rip it away from him. Okay. 
So if, if, if he drops it on his accord because he, he messed up, pull it away from him and make him chase it. Anytime that that ball comes out of his mouth, boom, you lost the squirrel, it's gone. Now you gotta, ch you gotta chase it to get it again. And the more you can make a dog like this obsessed with a ball that you have in your hand, the more the surroundings blur out and they don't matter as much. Yep. Try back and recall and pay. Pay, pay, yes. pay, yeah, good. Play tug, 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 tug. Like tug it back towards you, like bang, yes, bang. Bang, yes. Okay, you're gonna out him? Atlas, out. And then you're gonna pay out. him immediately when he outs. Out. Yes. Good. Pay him. Pay, no, pay him with that. Pay him with the ball. Oh, pay him with the ball. Yes, Go but boy. don't give it to him. No, make uh, him chase it. Yes, thank you. I'm glad that that makes okay. sense to you. <laughs> pay him. Don't give I'm it to there. him. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Fill up. There's a book I read called Atomic Habits. I didn't read the whole thing, but the first chapter's good. <laughs> One of the things in the first chapter was... Christmas Eve is more exciting than Christmas. The anticipation of waking up and receiving something is more valuable than actually waking up for Christmas. So what you're doing is you're anticipating the play drive with the dog that truly instinctually wants to play and kill and, and fight. So what you're doing is, is he's gonna be like, I don't care about this dog or that guy or this person, I just wanna play tug with you. And that's what we're doing right now, is we're taking that drive that's causing the reactivity and we're cycling it and putting it into something else more productive. Okay, out. Atlas, out. Good boy. Good. Ready? Yeah, now, Let's see, go. look now. I want it, I want it, I want it. Heel, towards me. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Draw back. Atlas, come. Yes, that's Good. it, that's it, that's it. Good. You guys see that difference in his play? The moment he's like, hey, you're gonna get it or not? And the dog was like, ooh, 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 that's fun. So then he started walking towards me, the other dog, and then the dog could not care less. That's what you have to hone in on, Philip. Ah, nope. Correct that, nope. Philip. Correct. Nope. There you go, back to me. See how his reactivity is getting less? Yes. Now he's just like, can I do this? Correct that. Inside turn. Nope. Back to, back to me. Let's go. Correct that. that. There. Yep. Stay here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me see the leash. <laughs> Don't let him take that off. Let me see the leash. Hey. Okay. I got him. Yeah. When you're doing that correction and he starts to build, he's actually really responsive to that prong collar correction. Really responsive. Heel. Sit. Good sit, Atlas. Good boy. Good job. What a good job. Heel. Good. Good, Matty. Good. Good boy. Nice job. Nice work, big guy. Good, Atlas. Atlas, come. Yes, good boy. Good job. Sit. Yes, good boy. Heel. Good. Yes, good boy. Three. Okay, now you do that. Good boy. You ready? Let's go. Good. Good. Inside. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Atlas. Right there. Right there. Ah. There you go. Back the other way. He's still decreasing his build anyway. Doesn't matter. He's getting better even though inside. There you go. Yes. Good. Boy. Back the other way. Cut right to Abby. Let's go. Good boy. Good Irish boy. to me. Good boy. Nice work. Back this way. All right, stop. Okay. Put Koto over there. We're going to do a uh, three to four cross. So you're going to come over here and then we're going to go back in. Okay. <laughs> I actually have to give him pressure yeah. to come with me. He's just, been... He's just being the best intact working line German Shepherd he can right now. Talk to your dogs if you're doing good. Go. Go on. Hey. Come on. Leave it correction. Oh. Leave it correction. Let's go. There you go. Yes. Yes. Never been that close to another dog. So, so much of it is like, even like me, I feel more confident and I didn't know I needed more confidence. But the most important thing I think for you going home is understanding that your dog is fully capable, 100%. And you made such a big improvement in such a little time. We've gotten him from here to here, which means you just need the right coaching and you need to remember all of the things that I said that you worked on in order for him to get to this point, and you will be successful at home. Mm -hmm.